In this video, we are going to discuss the problem move last element to the front of a linked list. So we are given with the head of a linked list and we have to move the last element to the front of the linked list and return the list. So let's say first let's understand the problem. So if we will take this example case which is 2, 5, 6, 2, 1. So let's say that linked list is 2, 5, 6, 2, and one okay so this is the given linked list to us what we have to do is we have to remove this particular node from here and we have to append it as start in the front of the linked list so the resultant linked list will be one two five six and two and then analyze there so this is basically what you have to do now to perform this particular operation, the first process is the first approach is that first of all you delete the last node, first you delete the last node and also stores its value, and then you add a new node at the front. This is a process which you can follow. But here we are going to discuss about our another process which is quite easy than this one, which contains uh, no deletion and addition of the particular link list. Let's see that particular process. So the process will be what we will do. Let's take an example. Let's take another example. Let's say this is the link list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and null. This is how they all are connected. Okay. So we have to basically make this 5 to be at the start of the link list. So this 5 should be at the front, and the link list should be like 5, then, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then null. This is how the link list should be. This is what we want. Okay. Now you can, what we can do, we can just change the link of the particular link list to find the, to find the uh, output. We can just change the link of the link list. You can see one thing here. What we will do? What we will do? We, what we want? Our link list should be something like this. 5, then 1, 2, 3, 4, and null. Okay. This is our link list. Now you can see one thing. What we will do here? We want that our link list to start from 5. And we want that after 4, there should be a null. Okay. There should be a null. So what we will do? First of all, we will we will iterate till the last second node of a link list. We will iterate till the last second node of a link list. Let's say that we have reached here. This is the head. And let's say we have a current pointer. So our current pointer reaches to the last second node of a linked list. How we can reach? We can just use a while loop. And we will do so until this current dot current dot current is not equal to null. So this current dot next dot next is not equal to null. Till then we will update our current pointer. And you can see that when at this particular point it's next next is null. So it will stop. In this way you can reach the last second node of the linked list. Now what you can do, you can also store the end node of a linked list in a pointer, let's say end. So you have got the last second node, which is at the current, and you have a end, which is the last node. Or you can also write it last, because it is, it is the last node, okay? You can write it like last. Now what you have to do, this is the main point to observe. You will make the last next equal to head so this last net which is currently null will be removed from here and now it will be equal to the head which is here and you will make your current next equal to null so your current next which is currently pointing towards the last node will be now will now point towards null will now point towards null now if you observe this linked list now, if you observe the result, you can see that a link list is starting from here 5, then it is going to 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 0. And this is what we want also. And for this particular link list, last node is basically our head or the start from there, from where the, our link list is starting. Okay. So, this is what we have to do. This is what we can do. Now, let's implement the approach what we are doing. 
also there will be a base case also the base case will be that if our link list if our link list doesn't contain any node means our if our net is equal to null if our head is equal to null or maybe link is just contained one node in that case also our result will be same there will be no change in the given link list so if these two are the conditions we have to just return the head so we can just implement this thing let's implement this how we can do so you can see one thing here that first of all the base condition will be let me write here the base conditions the base conditions okay so the base condition will be that if our head is equal to null or our head dot next is equal equal to null in this case what we will do in this case we will simply return our head because there will be no change otherwise first we will find the last second node so for finding the last second node what we will do we will take a new node let's say current which will be equal to head okay and initially then we will have a while loop just like we have written here just like i have told you this is how you will take a while loop okay so you will make a while loop by current dot current dot current just remember this thing this is how you can find the last second node because we are taking two current if i will take one current only means i will take because we are taking two next sorry because we are taking dot next dot next so this find the second last node if i will write only dot next so it will find us the last node okay so in this way we will make our current to update it so this is the so this current is our basically our last last node now last second node now if to find the last node we will just simply take a new node let's say last and that will be equal to current dot next node because current is the last second node this is how we have got our last second node and last node now what we will do is as i told you we have to make our last node next is equal to head so we will make our last node next is equal to head this is the first thing and the second thing is we have to make the current next is equal to null means the second last node is equal to next because in our resultant linked list we want our second last node to be the last node you can see here so it will be equal to null i will just make our current dot next is equal to null and in the resultant linked list as i told you this last node because now now our last node is our first node because our last node is now appended is added at the front of the linked list so now this last node is basically our head node so we will return the last we will return the last pointer this is how we have to do let's compile this and we can know what we are doing okay. yeah we have got the right output for sample let let's submit it yeah so we have got the right output for this particular problem you can see that are all the test cases which are 1,1020 test cases has been passed and this is how we can solve the problem we have first taken the base conditions then we have uh, find it the last second node then the last node and then we have changed the pointers only we have just changed the links of the last and the last second node okay the, the process of deleting last node and adding a new node at the front is also fine but this is a more good way because here we are not adding or deleting any node and we are just changing the links of the node this is a similar operation what we do in rotate a link list so you can also check out this problem which is rotator link list where similar problem order of n because we are just iterating to the end of the link list n is the number of nodes in the link list and if we talk about the space complexity it is order of one because we have not used any extra space to solve this particular problem. We have not used any extra space. The space complexity is just constant. I hope that you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, please hit the like button. Please share this video with your friends. Subscribe the channel for more amazing coding content. And also comment down if you have any doubt or if this video is useful for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.